Hi, welcome to this week's Bing a Bing blurb. I'm here with Bing a Ding, and we're going to play a game today called Fact or Fiction. So I'm going to say some statements, and then I'm going to let you know whether it is a factual statement. Yes, what I'm saying is true about bearded dragons, or it's a fiction, which means no, not true. And then I'll give you some actual factual information after that statement. So let's go with our first one. Bearded dragons are omnivores. Omnivores. So omnivores means that you eat meat, you eat vegetables, you eat fruit. And that is a fact. Bing and Ding loves insects. He loves superworms. He loves crickets. He also likes his veggies and he also likes his fruit. So for veggies, he is a big fan of bell peppers, but we give him lots of leafy greens. And um, for fruits, he likes pineapple, though we try all kinds of things, blueberries, strawberries, mango, banana, apple, all kinds of stuff. So we feed him a wide variety of food. Um, but he can be a bit picky sometimes, so we just keep playing to see what things he'll enjoy. Just, just like people, he has different tastes in food. Um, so, bearded dragons belong to a genus of reptiles called Pagonas. And that is a fact. They do. Um, a Pagona is kind of a fancy name for bearded dragon. Um, bearded dragons are related to other types of dragons like Komodo dragons and frilled dragons. That is fiction. Those animals are actually not related. Komodo dragons are giant large creatures um, and not related to bearded dragons. Frilled dragons Look them up, they're very cool. Um, when they want to intimidate or scare things away, they they kind of put their necks out and they frill this, this beautiful um, neck piece out and, and show it to the public to be intimidating and scary. Very cool, but not related to bearded dragons. Um, bearded dragons produce venom. Fact, they do, they do, but it doesn't hurt humans. Um, it's meant for very, very, very tiny animals, very, very small insects, um, and it won't at all hurt humans. So let's see what else we have here. Bearded dragons originate from deserts in Australia. Um, that is a fact. They do, but they also live in grasslands and they live in the bush. Um, bearded dragons are adaptable and they can live in lots of types of places. So it doesn't just have to be dry, sandy, hot places. It can be um, places that have lots of vegetation um, and lots of different types of uh, ground. Bearded dragons can get up to three feet long. All right, that one is not true. That is a fiction. They usually range from somewhere between 16 and 24 inches. Our bingeting friend here is 17 inches from the tip of his nose to his tail. Okay, he's, he's not too long of a guy because they can get up to 24 inches, an entire two feet long. So that's a pretty pretty big guy. Bingeting is at 17 inches. He's as big as he's gonna get. Um, we're pretty sure he's a full grown adult, so we don't think he'll get any bigger than his 17 inches. Bearded dragons can live to be 10 to 12 years old. That is a fact, they can. They can live that long, um, as long as they're given proper nutrition and um, um, a good lifestyle, that they're comfortable and all their needs are met. They can, they can live to be 10 to 12 years old, absolutely. So bearded dragons um, come in this color known as citrus. Okay, so I'm gonna say that that's a fiction 
because they do come in these beautiful greenish orangey colors, which is known as a citrus, but they also can be orange and they can be red. Um, I think there's a few breeded varieties that can be um, like silver and, and black even. So those are actually um, quite beautiful varieties, but our guy here, he's kind of a, he's kind of a yellowish, very yellowish green color. Um, he's got some, he's got some orange to him. He's very pretty when you see him up close. Um, bearded dragons lay eggs. That is a fact. The females do lay eggs. They lay up, um, anywhere from 11 to 30 eggs at a time. And when they lay eggs, they usually lay them in two clutches. So um, they'll have 10 to 30 eggs in one clutch. And then um, shortly after that, they'll have another clutch of another 10 to 30 eggs. So that's pretty amazing. That's a lot of eggs. So beardies communicate. That is a fact. They do communicate. Um, they do things known as an arm wave. All right, so it does kind of look like that. They just kind of move their arm out like that. I've actually seen our bing a ding do that. It's very cute. Um, they usually do that to signal someone to say, hey, I'm here, please don't hurt me. So they just want to let maybe other predators um, or things they might be afraid of uh, know that, hey, I'm here. I'm not, I'm not here to hurt you. I just want you to know I'm here, don't hurt me. Um, they can also head bob, which is very cute to see. Males will do that to impress the females. Um, they can open up their mouths and kind of gape. They, they also inflate their beard. So this area right around his um, neck here, this, is, this would be where his beard is. And they kind of like poof it up. Um, and they do that to appear bigger and more intimidating and to tell um, everyone else to, okay, you need to back away from me now. I've had enough. Like, I'm all poofed up. I'm as big as I can get. I'm scary. I'm intimidating. You need to step back. So they do communicate. You just have to watch and see what they're trying to communicate um, carefully. So moving on, um, only male bearded dragons have beards. That is fiction not true both females and males have the beard that they can poof out um, and make themselves look large with they both have it males and females and for our final statement bearded dragons can turn black that is factual they can um, their coloring gets darker very dark so that they can absorb more heat and sunlight and take in more nutrients from their environment. So they can darken up to make themselves feel healthier and absorb the sunshine, which they love to do. They love to just sit and soak in the sun. So that was our game of fact and fiction um, with Bing a Ding this week. I hope you enjoyed that. I hope you learned a few things and we'll see you next week. Bye.